Johnny Valentine here with Gain Solar. Haven't had a chance to shoot a lot of video on this job, but got a 4KW grid tie battery backup, solar installation with 14 REC 290 panels. They're mounted on snap and rack racking. This is a uh, standard seam metal roof, so uh, we, we like to tell our customers, people are asking what's the best roof if you're gonna put solar on the roof. Which, if you put it on the ground, you should. If you're gonna put it on the roof, if you see that clamp right there, that clamp clamps on the seam of the roof. You see how these seams are vertical? So the roof seam is crimped with a tool instead of being screwed down. So there's very few penetrations in this roof. And this is the kind of roof that will last as long as the solar array. There's our roof penetration way over there. And um, it's got Magnum GT500 microinverters. Used a piece of uh, snap and rack racking over here. Show you how we did this. There's some snap and rack. Cut it and bend at the end so your cable, your cable going from one end to the other, you can just attach it with clamps. That's a nice feature of Snap and Rack. It's a big wide profile, so you got plenty of room to put all your wires on those two channels. And they offer a variety of cable clamps. So we were able to really dress the wires on this thing and keep a really tight install a lot of time the way that the wires are dressed is what's going to affect how long the installation lasts so we've just finished another ac coupled grid tie battery backup installation with the magnum inverters and the mag uh, the magnum gt500 microinverters and i had some old stuff to kind of adapt to here but Nothing so old it needed ripping out. This system's kind of cool. It already had a 200 amp manual transfer switch. It's a giant transfer switch. So when the power's out and the batteries get low, the customer would just say, well, let's take this here plug and plug it in to the underneath of this monster generator. There's a plug down there for 50 amps and he plugs it in there and he can feed power into his whole house if he puts the switch right there green switch in the down position got the blue lights all over that's the midnight surge protection on the grid the input and the output of the inverter got the magweb micro gt monitoring really cool shows you what the inverters are doing and shows you what the battery inverters are doing right now the magnum is charging batteries keeping those batteries full as they can be and uh, this system is grid type battery backup so it's going to sit in float charge all the time while the solar panels sell all the power of the grid Here's our batteries, the Trojan Solar SAGM, 6 volts, it's 375 amp hour battery bank, inverter is a Magnum, 4448, here's the disconnect for the battery inverter so you can disconnect the backup power system. So utility comes or something they want to take power off the house or well it's really for the firefighters so those and that right there is the disconnect for the solar array going up to the roof the pipe run just goes there goes through try to get a video in the roof lines of this house a lot of different roof lines but the metal roof makes it really easy to attach panels to so you can see where just see the edge of our panels right there 
And as I'm finishing up the solar portion of the job, these guys are just getting the spring development underway. How dirty are you today, boss? What's that? How dirty are you today? Oh, I am not dirty enough. What about you, Abe? You find any special creatures? Creatures? I found all kinds of creatures. You've been protecting them? You've been returning them to their... Froggies. Return, returning them to their lizards. riparian environment. Look at you dry stacking. Man, I'm a dry stack genius, man. Well, just goes together like a puzzle. Scott don't want me to die, do no dry stacking. I'm just trying to have Well, because when we move the dirt down in the gravel, it's all going to fall down. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to know know about my shovel. What's the status? You going to mail it back to me? No, give him the shovel. No, I mean, you can keep it if you want. I don't I don't plan on doing any digging anytime soon. Ralph? Huh? He's a millennium. We don't need a shovel. We need another shovel. Yeah, I need I need somebody to run the shovel. Just some of the wood. Beautiful place here. Get up here and show you the other solar array. There's the other side of the array. It's got eight modules on that side. It's got uh, six on the other, so about 4,000 watts of solar. That's his wood stove chimney. That's his other regular one. So this is just two people in this house, but they got a sweet view of the mountains. They can burn wood. And that, what I just showed you over there was, that's the spring. We've got a spring that's run for you forever. It trickles out, but we're going to put a pump in there. Can you scoop we'll have spring can you just, water. So I'm Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. Let's try to show videos of our jobs and what we do. Show people how we do solar, do solar right. Here in the southeast, Gain Solar is based out of North Georgia. But we kind of go all over the southeast doing these small battery jobs, and mostly uh, backup power systems and prep related stuff. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like.